Got this package today from Amazon Prime and it is the power inverter. We're gonna open it up, see what's in there and check out what it looks like. And there it is, right there. 1300 watt power inverter, 12 volt DC to AC 110. And let's open it up. And there's the inverter itself and the power cables for it. We got the, uh, the posts right here for hooking the leads into. This is the first one. This is for hooking into the cigarette lighter, just the 12 volt output on a car. Okay, then they're obviously marked red and black. So we take the red, red on red, black on black. And now it's ready to go. It looks like it would fit some international plugs too, so that's a bonus. And it's got the USB output on here, and then the, of course the on and off switch. Got a nice fan on it for keeping the system cool. It also comes with the cables to hook it up directly to the battery if you want to do that, and we'll show you how to do that. One of the powerful options of this inverter is being able to hook it directly into your car battery. So we're going to show you how to do that real quick. You want to find a secure place to set the inverter. And then as you notice, she connects the positive red cable first and then the black cable. You usually want to do this to prevent arcing. Once you have successfully connected it to the battery, all you have to do is plug in your device and switch it on. The inverter features a powerful fan so that this can run for a long time without overheating. When you have the inverter connected directly to the battery, you're able to use larger devices and appliances. Make sure if you're connecting it to your actual car battery, you don't run down the battery to the point that you need to jump your car. When you're done using the inverter, you just unplug your device, and then you notice that you disconnect it in the reverse fashion. So you will disconnect the black first, and then disconnect the red again to prevent arcing. Simply remove the unit, and close your hood. If you want to use the inverter in the car, all you have to do is disconnect the leads by unscrewing the post caps and then put on the lead for the 12 volt adapter. The intended use of the inverter in the vehicle is to run smaller devices off of it, charging a phone or a laptop, as the car's wiring is not designed to run large appliances off the 12 volt connector. For most cars, in order to run the 12 volt adapter in the car, you need to insert the key and put it to the accessories on position, usually one click in. Once you've turned the accessories on in your car, you can plug it in and use it. Plug in your device. Here Kim is using a laptop and turn the inverter on and you're good to go.